So what's been happening to Crowcoin for the last couple of days and can Crowcoin go uh, actually go up and increase to some higher values? We're gonna check this out in this video. So guys, smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome crypto videos. Let's go and check it out. Here we are on TradeView. We can see that Crow did go up. Like we did have a massive here rally. And if we do measure this from this low to this high here, we can see a 200 a 19% increase in just like seven days. But uh, now we did stabilize. We have been stabilizing here for a couple, actually for a pretty long, yeah, for a couple of days, maybe like a week or two. And now with a 150% increase in general in just 22 days, which is really, really interesting to see. Now we did, we were in this upsetting funnel where we did trying to make higher highs and higher lows, but in the end we broke to the downside and now we made another correction. So what's happening here? And what's gonna, what's gonna happen here to Crow? And why is Crow not pumping even more? Like why are we making like lower, uh, lower highs? That's the question. So first thing, the first reason is because of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is massively influencing the market and because of that most cryptos did go up when Bitcoin did go up, but and actually when it did stabilize, but now because Bitcoin did make a price correction here, uh, most of the cryptos did follow Bitcoin with that price correction. Right now, Bitcoin is trying to bounce off, but we're gonna see pretty soon what's gonna happen here. We are back at 94,300 almost, and we got a little bit of rejected here, but again, we're gonna see pretty soon what's gonna happen. Actually, let's go to one day, one day chart. I think we're trying to make that reversal here. You got to be patient and see. But again, this is all pretty healthy to see that Bitcoin is making a correction because we did go up by 40% in just like one month. And that's a lot. <laughs> like that's a lot of volume here for Bitcoin. So seeing that is not too much surprising. But I did think we're going to first hit those 100k and then start to stabilize. But as you can see, we got rejected before 100k Bitcoin. So that's that's pretty disappointing. But hopefully pretty soon we can hit it again hit those values but for crow crow at the four hour chart the rsi looks pretty healthy we're back at this safe zone we're trying to, uh, trying to stabilize which is really good we did make this like bullish ross right over here and that's a really good sign but now it looks like we're steadily making a bearish cross but still for that bearish cross to happen like the biggest bearish cross is going to take a lot longer at the one day chart look at this pretty healthy like the blue line here just touching the chart really healthy really good and in like if we check out massively the long term uh for this whole graph that's for me here we still didn't break below we're actually making higher lows so we're still massively going up. We did get rejected here, which is not a good sign at 0 0.23. But if you check this out, ever since then, we're trying to bounce up, bounce up, bounce, bounce off, and we're still making higher lows. The problem is if we go below 0 0.14, so for, if we go below 14 cents, to so let's say here to like 12 cents, that's going to be extremely really bearish here for Crow. And I then think that we are probably going to make the massive correction and probably decrease even more. But for now, I think we're still going to be bullish here. All depends, again, what's going to happen to the market and what's going to happen here to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin breaks below and hits some lower values, then yes, the same thing here will probably happen here to Crow. Where we do have a bigger correction and then we steadily go down even more probably like i said over here to 12 cents and then start to stabilize in that area and slowly then we're gonna see what's gonna happen but 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 again that's the bearish scenario let's zoom in here at the one hour chart we can see here that at the tips uh we actually did make a bearish cross here which is not that good but again, look at this. This is a perfect chance. If we can break through right now and continue to go up, we can still make the bullish cross again. And if we do make the bullish cross, then we're going to probably try and go hit another to make another high. That's going to be a target here to make another high. Is that possible? Pretty much yes. Again, look at this resistance at this area at 0 0.18. Because of this, we're, yeah, we have a lot of resistance. But like I said, if we do break through this, we have to then break to 0 0.19 and try to retouch this area. The biggest problem is, like I said, we've been in this area for a pretty long time and it's trying to stabilize, but 
uh, something needs to happen. Like something needs to happen here if we want to see some big moves, big positive moves here from Crow. So a lot of things could happen. The uh, the bullish scenario. Let's me measure this actually from this top to this bottom. It's telling us here that the next target should be around 0 0.28. So maybe you know, even all the way here to like 30 cents. So, so but from 29 cents to 30 cents, that should be the area where we could actually hit. And that's going to be super interesting here. I do believe like 29 cents is pretty much possible. But again, in the bullish scenario. So that's going to be an increase of 60% if we do hit that number. But again... If Bitcoin breaks down, then we're going to make a pullback. We're probably going to hit this area again. So we're going to hit that, uh, like, yeah, 23% decrease. So $13, uh, yeah, zero, 13 cents. And if we break below that, probably around here, 30, uh, minus 34%. So like in 12 cents. Uh, all the way, we're going to decrease here, here, all the way here to 12 cents. So a lot of bad things can happen if we break, if Bitcoin breaks down. And there, like people are saying that there's a chance here that Bitcoin could break down and we can hit like 15% um, correction more or like 15 to 20% correction. And if that happens, if we go, if we make another pullback from where we are now to like uh, 10, let's say 10%, now let's say 15%, this is how it's going to look. So after that, we're going to need some time for Bitcoin to go up again. It's going to take some time for Bitcoin to reach new highs i don't believe that, that this was the peak of the bull run i still believe that we still have a lot of chances here for cryptos to actually go up but we have to be patient we have to see what's going to happen so the bullish scenario is pretty good but if we zoom out still nowhere near the previous bull run and that's the biggest problem here with crypto.com or crow is that we're not even close to the previous bull run the previous bull run if we do measure this where we are right now to the peak of it we still need to increase by a whole 440 percent if we just want to reach the previous bull run so long way to go like super long way to go and like i said we got to be patient look at this there's so much safety in this area like so much safety in this area right now. Let's actually zoom in, zoom back in. Because look at this. We can bounce off of this. And we can try to go to the next level. But like I said. All depends on Bitcoin. We got to focus on Bitcoin for the next couple of days. To see what's going to happen. And then like I said. There's a massive chance here that we could be bullish. We could go back. We could stabilize a little bit still here. And then go back. Because if we do stabilize, then we're going to see altcoins actually going up. So if we stabilize this sideways right now, we can see altcoins going up. But if we break below, we're going to see massive bloodbath for most cryptos. Because most cryptos did go up a lot, at least 2 to 3x. And now, stabilization. They need to make a, they need to make a correction, actually, uh, for them to be later on healthy. And that's the whole thing about that. It's going to just take a long time. Like We're probably going to need to wait for the next year. For all of that to happen but if we can stabilize now and slowly go up then we can see some pretty green flags here uh, for most of cryptos in december so we're gonna see what's gonna happen but i'm still pretty much bullish here for crypto in the end guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into these coins please do your own research first thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video